Genesis Risk versus Reward. Brought to you by Kieran Farrell BEM for Kieran Farrell Promotions here in the Premier Suite, the University of Bolton Stadium. We're sponsored by the Morrison Group, and this is four three minute rounds in the Super Featherweight Division. Timekeeper at the bell, Mr. Gary Brennan. Referee in charge, Mr. Jazz Copley from Southend. Introducing in the blue corner. He wears the silver shorts, green and white trim. He weighed in nice on six pounds four ounces. Coming to the ring this evening in his 29th professional contest from Leeds, Yorkshire, Russ Minchley. from 10 contests, 6 wins, 2 inside the distance, 3 defeats, 1 draw. From Haywood in Lancashire, Colbert, Lee Collector! My fans have already spoken to you both. Lee Clayton versus Russ Midgley up next. Lee will be looking to get his first win in over a year now. He hasn't won since last February. An unfortunate no contest against Ricky Leach and a TKO loss to Craig Derbyshire on Kieran's last show. But he's shown he can bounce back from a loss before. You know, he lost his debut. And he lost back in 2017 and went on a four fight win streak. So. Lee's shown a ton of heart over his career. Yeah, it's really tough losing your pro debut. It's a massive disappointment for a fighter. Obviously, a lot of these fighters going to the pro debut are expecting to pick up a win, so he must have been devastated with the defeat. And then was out three months later with his first win of his career in uh, April 2016 against Thomas Murray. As you say, he strung a couple of wins together. Lost his last fight against Derbyshire, but that was a central area bantamweight title fight. So that one was up for grabs for both men, but he started off well in this fight. And his straight punches from the southpaw stands lot to be giving uh, Midgley a little bit of trouble. Yeah. Midgley, Midgley is 1 25 and 2 after 25 defeats. He's been stopped eight times, so he could have enough of stoppage on the card tonight in this one. He could. Especially with the clean shots that you've been taking so early on this fight. It looks like he's having real trouble with that southpaw stance. And in terms of his career, Clayton, he's, he's 29 now, he won't want to be messing around, he's not fought as often as he would have liked, so he might just want to come out and make a statement in this fight, and he's doing so early on in the fight. He'll be looking to get back to that central area title level, definitely. Yeah, he'll want to, he'll have learned lessons from that last defeat in the title fight, so he'll want to get back to that kind of level again and see if he can compete there and maybe move on up a little bit after that. Well, like you say, time's not really on his side, so he wants to be getting a shift on. Great output from Lee so far. And Midgley looks a bit shell shot by it, it so far. He's not really managed to get anything going at all. He's been rooted in the same spot for the majority of the round. He's almost frozen in there. And as you say that, he gets himself caught up a little bit in the ropes as well. It's been a very strange start so far by Midgley. He's just yeah. not been allowed to do anything of note. And pretty much all his own way so far from Clayton. Midgley tries for a counter shot there, but again he just takes him off a straight left to the face. The same punch every single time, yet Russ can't seem to find an answer for it. Again, well, that's the problem with Midgley, he knows what's coming, let's just say he just can't do anything about it. And it's like the past two fights as well. Once you take that punishment and damage over and over again, it's demoralising, and he already seems like he doesn't know what to do in that now. No, he's lost that round and he's lost it quite handily, so you want you want to come out and try and do something. He knows what's coming in this in this direction, you know, he should know what to do about it, but he's just been unable to 
if I most of the shots are being thrown his way. Wow, Kieran's got to be really pleased with me in that round. Fox, really disciplined. He hasn't got too ahead of himself in there, which he has done in the past. Maybe the first time I've met that. Yeah, but in each round, he's only had 41 rounds going into that one in his career. That's his 42nd round of his career, so he'll want to, uh, if you say, listen to what he's being told in the corner and build on what's an impressive first round. And again, the pattern looks exactly the same as what we saw in the other part of the first round. Yeah, literally Russ, backed into the corner and not really able to do anything about it. He's been drawn to the ropes, Russ, but he ain't throwing anything from the ropes. It's like an automatic repeat of the first round then it's already. And Clayton will be feeling that he can pretty much do what he likes after that third round and what he's seen so far in the second. Looks like he's unwilling or unable to do anything about it. He's making the, the job for the, the scorecards really, really easy. You say this is about as one sided as the fight gets? Yeah, pretty much. Smidgley's not really been able to do anything of note. He's, he's been in the neutral corner or backed into his own corner taking shots. See the welts on the side, on the left side of Midgley. I mean, even when he tried for the punch there, he almost knocked himself out. Oh, and his legs have gone. <laughs> Referee telling Clayton to watch where his feet are in relation to his opponents, but sometimes when you fight, a left handed fight, a fight's a right handed one, you do get tangled up. Yeah. Mitchell is shaking his head and sticking his tongue out, but he needs to be doing a bit more than that. And he's more than happy to sit on that left. He sees Russ's eyes rolling in the back of his head every time that left hook comes. Yeah, there's just nothing he can do about it. His balance looks really off as well, so... Kevin takes a left... Straight left, come up, got to the pit for Summit, Midgley. Russ does look like he's in a lot of pain then. Yeah, it's been a strange performance. He's not really produced anything. He looks bored and disinterested in there, which is a dangerous state of mind to be in when you're fighting someone. But Clayton can't really do anything about his opponent. He just has to keep doing what he's doing. It's a great confidence builder for me. I'm sure the Laura will be itching to get back in there with a higher level of competition. Yeah, he might be a bit frustrated himself at the fact his opponent's not really been able to drag anything out of him, but that's not his problem, he's just there to win the rounds and win the fight. And he's doing that annually so far, we've had to squat, we've had to move through the gears. Is there much to say he needs to say at this point? No, he'll just say more of the same, he could, but... As you say, he won't really have had to say much for him in the corner. He's not I've, I've had to warn him to look out for anything. Initially, finally tries throwing a few punches, but there's nothing, no real impact or guile behind him. And then again, he takes 
takes him off the jab to the head and two body shots. Clayton's just been able to do the same thing off and off with that, and he worries about what's coming back in the opposite direction. And off a straight left hand lands for him and lands clean as well. The only positive you can say for Russ at this point is the fact that he's still stood there in the ring in this fight. He has gone to get your leg a few times. Yeah, he does. Leaning against the vaults, trying to find some respite on him, but he's not feeling anything back, and he's just an open target along the vaults and in the corner. Hasn't been the most action packed round. No, he's very much concentrating on his. Straight left hand to the head, Clayton is quite active with it in this round as well. You might be thinking that maybe you can pull out the stoppage in the final round like I've seen in the previous fight. And we'll use this third round to build that stop, build towards that stoppage. He's got nothing to be worried about in Julie, so just carry on doing what he's doing. Uh, Mitchell has been pretty awful, so maybe try and force the issue in the next round to get the referee to jump in and stop the fight.
Ladies and gentlemen, as always here this evening, would you please show your appreciation for both our boxers in the ring. Referee Mr. Cole, please seize this contest, 40 points to 36, in favour of the winner, Combat Please, ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation for Russ Mitchley.